All right, we're bringing the Scrub King on. Let's do it. All right. Hello, 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 the Scrub King. Welcome. Hello. How are you doing? Can you hear me all right? I can. Can you hear me? Ah, can you hear me? Yep. Sorry, I forgot I had push to talk on. In fact, let me turn that off. Give me a second. No problem. There we go. Uh, and I I don't know for sure, but uh, I assume because your name's Describ King, you he him, but but uh, uh yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Alrighty, I'm just gonna. Unless you want explicitly to be on video, you can be if you'd like. I can set that up if you'd prefer. Um, um, would you like no, to be up on video? Okay. That's good. All right. So. Oh wait, hold on. Apparently, my stream can't hear you. Give me a sec. Oh, that's a bit odd. All right. Can you talk again? Yeah. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Test. Test. All test. Right. All right. And uh, I'll mean wait for chat to respond. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Go for it. Okay. All right. Looks like they can hear you now. All cool. right. Excellent. Well, that's great. Um, so yeah, um, good to talk to you. It's been a while since we last talked. Been quite a while, I guess. Um, we saw your meme today. Your your meme about using friends uh, is psychologically damaging or whatever. And we thought it was funny. And we all wanted to, like, me and my chat were like, huh? And there was a bunch of uh, thinking emojis in chat. So we're trying to figure out what you meant by it, what your argument is. Because you said OP was right. And we didn't know what you meant by um, that. Yeah. But you seemed like you were willing to defend it. So, all right, we want to know what you mean, what your position is, and if there's anything to debate about. Because who knows? We might actually agree on things. But I felt that meme was very confusing. Uh, sure. So pretty much my whole thing is that um, I think that uh, like using people as friends and the way I interpret that is like, at least within the context of the meme, it's pretty clear that it means like, leading friends on or um like manipulating some sort of friendship that you have with somebody oh. i think is pretty comparable to using someone for sex which i would interpret as like same thing kind of like leading someone on or manipulating somebody's feelings for you in order to get sex out of them hmm. i think these things are pretty comparable in um, their capacity to do like emotional or psychological damage to someone yeah and yeah okay well i mean see like if you're if you're like deliberately misleading a friend or something like that, um, I can um, I could see where that would be an issue of like, uh, you know, of, of problems. But the problem is that I don't know the way the the way the meme read it. It really seemed to be riding on the sort of um, well, uh, unfortunately, uh, well worn stereotype of more or less. Um, like the idea that like men and women are only friends because when they want to fuck and that sort of thing. Um, so when I read it and when a lot of us read it, it certainly came across like that. But we were sort of wondering because it says, you know, using someone as a friend, like, what does that actually mean? And, um, yeah, but I guess, but again, if your definition of that, or if the way that you read it was to interpret it as like, oh, like this is somebody who's like deliberately misleading someone about the state of their relationship, then I guess that kind of makes a little bit more sense. Um, yeah. And I, I got that because generally when we use the word like using, mm -hmm. um, I don't really know if there's a context where you would say that you are using a person that's not like in a negative way. Like, generally we don't really whenever we say that we're using someone there's there's sort of an implication of like exploitation or some kind of negative something there yeah I don't it's really just know of like a neutral or positive connotation to the word using there oh i agree it's just that's why it came across odd to me in the in the format of the meme of saying like oh um using someone as a friend where it's like well a friend is like a friend a friend is a friend how do you use someone as a friend and well um, the way yeah. I, I interpret it is that like the the friend part is less um, isn't isn't the part being used. It's the person that is a friend. So like mm. using as a friend, I interpret it as using someone in their capacity as a friend. The mm. same way that like um, using someone as a factory worker, mm -hmm. right? Like it's not really the factory worker part. It's more using their capabilities that come with being a factory worker yeah. that are being used. Yeah, I just, to me, it feels like the way the meme was written that, uh, I mean, and maybe you can agree, maybe you can see some um, 
understanding in this like where i'm coming from is that, like when when i saw that it it seems to play kind of into the stereotype of like oh well using someone as a friend is like oh well like i'm being used by being a woman's friend and not by being a woman's sexual partner you see what i mean because that is something um, that a lot you, of people you could uh, yeah I mean, the thing you is, like, that's something that I've, like, I've experienced and, and encountered a lot. Like, that's a, that's a common thing, unfortunately, is this idea of objectification. The idea that, like, um, you're not actually capable of having, like, men aren't actually capable of having friendships with women. Um, because see, secretly, deep down, at the end of the day, it's all about fucking. And that's, like, a big thing that's, like, very commonly used by, like, red pillars and MRAs and stuff as this, like, sort of underpinning assumption and i think there are actually a lot of men who who do look at women kind of like that but i'm glad to hear that that doesn't um, really sound like the way that you were interpreting the meme yeah but i would i would say that like these situations aren't like um not impossible i don't think that's right what i'm looking for but like there are situations that like in which women like do hold sex over a lonely guy's head in order to get something out of them like these situations do happen they're overblown as fuck yeah, um, yeah for like sure. the, the insult type crowd but i think that like um whenever people like outright dismiss these things as problems i think that's what like creates incels basically is like yeah. when you when you outright um dismiss these kinds of um like emotional or psychological whatever you want to call it these yeah. kinds of wounds um i think that's that's like what creates incels i wouldn't go quite that far but i would say that uh i would say that like um you know blanket dismissing someone's potential pain the problem i think though is that a lot of um people in incel spaces don't have a very realistic um like a very realistic output uh, like outlook on what actually happened in x scenario and are often um at least in my experience very likely to conclude that they were being quote unquote used by a woman when that woman was really just interested in being friends with them and so I think that's more of, and then this of course becomes reinforced when you then enter a space where everybody confirms your worst fears, which is one of the biggest things about incel spaces, incel and red pilling and pickup artist spaces is that, um, one of the like most characteristic elements of these spaces is that they, um, they play into the worst fears of the people who are involved in them. And they, it's the lay down and die L L L Y A D I think is what it's called in incel spaces, but the lay down and die or lay down i don't know i ldad or whatever i can't remember what it's how it's spelled yeah, yeah. um but I mean, what the acronym are, they yeah. use but yeah that's this idea that like they're encouraged and the space mutually or lay down and rot yeah l-d-a-r yeah eldar there we go that's the one um and uh yeah it's like this this kind of concept i think is um like really common in these spaces and it and it and it plays into pre-existing societal biases um yeah, so that was that was I guess the thing that like a lot of us looking at the meme were like, "What? Really? Like you're going to you're going to go down on this one? This is the hill like, but but yeah, I mean, fair enough. Yeah, if you if you think it's like if it's a matter of very specifically like talking about like deeply deeply misleading people or like explicitly playing like um like playing with someone's heart or something like that and um leading them on like really hardcore I just think there's a problem of that, like, for a lot of women, a lot of women, um, anything that they do is considered le leading them on, you know? Like, nothing, like anything that they do will be considered leading someone on. And so you can't actually, there comes a point where, like, women can't have, can't be friends with men because if they're a friend, if they're too friendly, then they're leading them on. And then all of a sudden they're blamed for all of this harm that is functionally just happened in the dude's head. You know what I mean? Yeah, but that but that harm is still valid, right? Like even if even mm. if he's putting the blame um in the wrong place, I don't think that that makes it less psychologically harmful. Like it still hurts just as bad. Well, um, true, regardless but regardless I mean, of whether it's intentional or not. In that same but in, in that same like mindset though, like would that not also would that same argument not like justify like a like a racist person? who interprets being hated by like ex people even if it, even if that's not based in reality like there comes a point where like um, the hurt the well, hurt so, the, like the feelings could be real and like you know but it might be based off of false premises you know so i think these are a bit these are a bit different okay. um, because i would argue that like a racist who feels um 
like threatened by people that don't look like them i would argue that like the the feeling of being threatened Mm -hmm. like um the the cause is not a valid one like you should you should not have that emotional response to people that don't look like you the difference is that like uh, having unrequited feelings for someone i think that's a that's a valid emotional response is to be like emotionally hurt by that to put that hurt into like hating women is obviously not an an appropriate Mm -hmm. um action to take with that emotional response but i i think the feeling of being hurt is a perfectly valid response to being put in that situation you know maybe i think another example that could be perhaps a little more specific is like um americans who ended up becoming really islamophobic right like i mean some of them were really terrified by 9 11 and they come to the conclusion that they should be scared of Muslim people and immigrants and whatever. And that is a like they're they're scared of something bad that did happen. But the premises of their fear is um, is bad. And, it, uh, and it again, but like that's a, a bit different because is it Muslims didn't do 9-11 terrorists did. So like mm-hmm. even then, I would say like being afraid of Muslims is not valid. Being afraid of terrorists would be. So then, well, I mean, would it not would then that like not follow that the meme would be like. Like the meme is kind of implying that like uh, their feelings of of being like burnt out towards women or even towards that woman, even if it was based on false premises, would be okay. Like I don't think it would be. Like um, what happens if like what happens if well, like? Yeah, because I th- I think regardless of whether the woman in this scenario, and by the way, this whole argument you could reverse the genders to make the exact same thing. The sure, sure. Here. Well, um, I mean, I do actually think it is a little relevant because of historical, like, like historical and societal. Well, yeah, like in the real world, this is yeah. like the most, most often scenario. But yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I would argue that being put in this situation, like having unrequited feelings, um, I think regardless of whether or not like, in this scenario, the woman is purposefully leading you on or not. Mm-hmm. I think regardless of that, feeling hurt is a valid emotional response to have, mm-hmm. like, period. Okay, so what about something like this? Let's say... Um, We'll build some like sort of uh, of 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 pre preconditions here. So I think we can both agree that um, there is uh, in our society one way or another there is a, a a sort of cultural tendency towards objectifying women, right? Like I think we can both yeah. agree on that. Okay, so that exists. Yeah. So um, also there is a I think we can argue that there is at least some degree. Um, and I would say a pretty significant degree of women uh, of, of an expectation of attention being put on women, a, an entitlement to attention. Hence why do- like, um, what's the term, uh, wolf whistling and cat calling and, and hitting on women all the time, like, like really aggressively is like encouraged in a lot of our culture, even still to this day. Right. We can agree on that. Correct. Um, sure. But on the yeah. flip side, I would say that there is an equally large cultural push towards, um, not really giving shit, a shit about men's emotional needs at all. Yeah. I mean, yeah, to a certain degree. Yes. I would argue that, yeah, that's true. Like the, the sort of like idea of like the toxic form of masculinity, like what people refer to as like toxic masculinity, like men aren't allowed to cry and, and that sort of thing. Um, Right yeah yeah well okay. but not just not just like not allowed to cry but like not allowed to be like lovesick and stuff like expect like whenever whenever there's like a breakup you know and we'll use a heterosexual couple so mm. we get both both of them in there like whenever there's a breakup like it's expected that like the girl's probably gonna have like a big group of friends to fall back on like it's like socially acceptable for her to be like down to the dumps for a while you have the classic meme of like stress eating like ice cream or whatever yeah like that's all like perfectly acceptable but like if a guy is broken up about his girlfriend for more than like two weeks like he needs to like suck it up find a rebound chick and like move on with his life like there's there's none of this um like recovery period allowed for men Hmm. generally yeah i mean maybe i i find that one a little bit tougher because um on su- in some regards like wouldn't that be i mean presuming we're talking about like heterosexual relationships wouldn't that be mostly like the men aren't allowed like aren't giving their male friend the room to do that and they're just kind of like telling him to get back out the door well, and i mean move on, right? i mean it's everyone though yeah. like do- it's, it, men generally have more male friends sure but it's not like their female friends are going to be any more helpful like yeah. Well, maybe. I mean, I I feel like that part's a little bit more difficult to dis- determine. But regardless, like, um, so w- when I'm when I'm thinking of of like, 
like how these how like like whether something is like a like a valid claim or a valid like i think all feelings are to some degree valid you know what i mean i think they need and by valid i mean i think they need to be taken seriously that doesn't necessarily mean that they're right or that they shouldn't be challenged i think it's really important to challenge feelings that are really like disconnected from reality i think it's necessary for people to um challenge those things and also like like in general just across the board like we should be willing to challenge our feelings that are out of step with reality that doesn't mean they're not like i don't know i guess it depends on how you use the word valid but that's the way i look at it you see what i mean like i think that people um, are totally yeah, I, just like the way that the way that i handle it is i try and separate the emotional feeling from the emotional response mm -hmm. so like feeling or go back to the racist example like feeling scared that a black guy is walking by the actual emotion of fear is a valid one and should not be dismissed dismissed mm -hmm. but the fact that you are having that emotion as a reaction of just seeing a black guy is the invalid part okay. that's the part that needs to be like questioned or dismantled so by that logic then um like a, a guy who like say interprets a woman as leading him on even if that's not actually happening um you know, by that same logic, then, you know, maybe he feels hurt when it doesn't work out or when he doesn't get to fuck her or whatever. Um, but it might not be like, like his reaction to that might not actually be justified or anything, right? Like him feeling negatively towards that person might not even be justified, even if he feels bad, because we can understand like, it would be, you know, it's bad to, to, uh, it's bad to be rejected or whatever. It feels bad to be rejected. But if he misinterpreted everything and it's like, you know, it's, you know, she wasn't leading him on, like, then we can all, we can also acknowledge that while it, like, it makes sense he would feel bad. He's, his feelings are out of step with reality, right? Um, no, I think, hmm. um, feeling like, um, like if you get like feelings of like anger or spite, I think that reaction would be unjustified, but just like, feeling hurt even if even if the um it was unintentional on the girl's behalf i think those those feelings of being hurt are still a valid response regardless of the intentionality of um of the situation like even even if the guy completely messed up he completely read signs wrong he was being a real dumb fuck mm -hmm. um i i think being hurt like is still a, okay. still a, but don't you think that kind of plays in like 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 confirming that or or saying that like someone um like mourning something like an imagined like a functionally an imagined relationship don't you think that's like kind of more damaging in the long run in that it, like it plays into the exact types of toxic like masculinity that we're we're trying to like resist because i think in the meme now of course obviously we're doing meme science here so like i i i, I you know i'm more interested in getting to your actual ideas than just the meme but in the meme it was like the idea was like um you know that that it causes as much psychological damage for someone to be quote unquote used as a friend which we have acknowledged in this conversation is you know um a lot of men will interpret being used as a friend given the societal context as like a little bit you know broader like than it should be um and you know would it not also would you know what, what i'm saying is that would it not stand that like um that like saying that that's like as psychologically damaging like that's not just saying like oh i'm really sorry you feel bad but like remember like you know it's okay to feel sad that this didn't work out but you have to remember like not to take this out on this person it wouldn't be like implying that as psychological damage or extreme psych psychological damage give credence to the idea that there's some sense of entitlement there given the context that we've talked about here um well if it was if it was um, absent in a vacuum, I might be able to hear your argument. Mm. Um, but seeing as how it's being compared to being used for sex, I think it's a pretty valid comparison yeah. because these are very, very comparable situations where in both it is somebody expecting more out of a relationship than they are getting from the other person. In one, you have somebody who is friends with somebody and they want more than friends, whether it be romantic or sexual. The other person does not reciprocate that, whether intentionally or unintentionally. And in the other, you have people who have a sexual relationship of some kind and the other person wants romantic, but they're not going to get it from the other person. I think these are well, like in almost one-to-one our... -one comparable situations. Oh, interesting. Yeah, see, I, I don't agree with that, with that analysis either. I think like in our society, especially here in America, sex is... Um sex is like highly stigmatized 
and um the like idea that somebody fucking you and getting to that level of physical intimacy is often seen as like something significant like a, a significant level of um of like personal vulnerability especially for women who you know like not all women obviously but me but the vast majority of women could be could become pregnant as a result of having sex or something along those lines. So like, while I will say that, like, I don't think this is universally the case. I think that it's fair to say that our society puts, um, uh, a stronger emotional impetus on women having sex with someone, um, than they do with like men having sex with someone. Right. Well, yeah, but that's not a, that's not a valid one. You can't have it like, like both ways here. Like society, um, society says that like men deserve women's attention, but that's obviously mm -hmm. dumb. Um, and then society puts a very heavy weight on on having sex, especially for women. And I think that's dumb too. Yeah. Like we could, like, well, but um, both of those seem to be played into by this idea of equating like a woman saying like uh, of a woman, uh, but by, by equating those two things where it is, um, you know, there's, there's huge, there's potentially, and in many cases, um, like really big social repercussions, um, for a woman being used for sex. But the social repercussions for a man like being a friend and having a friend and then that friend not wanting to have sex and then him getting hurt or mad about well, yeah, we're not are very different, social right? repercussions. We're talking about just like how the person feels afterwards. Well, but I mean, social repercussions are a big part of that. Like, I mean, for example, I mean, women are regularly no. like women are regularly frowned upon for, you know, premarital sex for having sex with more than one person. So it seems to me like that's like a common occurrence still in our society. It hasn't gone anywhere. Like not yet. Um, I think it's definitely decreased in recent years. Oh, for sure. Years. Obviously, yeah. it's, it's decreased. It's still some. there. Huge um, amount of it's still there. Yeah. But I don't know if you can really go that far out with mm. like the 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 damage done. I guess it feels like you're like you're going one too many like cause and effect layers outwards here oh, okay. of like the damage that the person has done to you okay. is um having sex with you and then not having a relationship with you. Like that is yeah. that person's fault. Right. Um, I don't think you can put the emotional damage caused by any like slut shaming you get afterwards. I don't know if you can add that into the equation. Maybe. It feels like, I mean, even if we don't though, like if, uh, if a guy is like using a woman for sex, the implication there is like that, uh, that, sh that she's been misled into, you know, having this, uh, well, not necessarily intentionally misled, just like the um, the friend zoning situation. Like it could be that it, it could easily be that the guy had no no intention of having any romantic relationship and never thought he was giving any signs of that. But mm -hmm. the woman just read too much into things. Like these are, yeah, I think these are almost one to one comparable situations. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think I can see certain aspects of it. Like when we're talking about sort of the most extreme um level of like of manipulation but when when i'm thinking of like the general application of these ideas um you know it it, it seems to me like uh there's um significantly more um s sort of um how do i word this uh in the situation of 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 a of of someone being used as a friend quote unquote it seems like there is a lot of leeway given to what being used as a friend is already in our society so i feel like there's um there is like i don't feel like those things are perfectly equated you know um but i do um, think i do I mean, think in general i will we, agree with you in we general. say there's a lot of leeway for what being used as sex would be um can we say that like a lot maybe. of people might like have one night stands with somebody and like get ghosted and like that would count as like being used for sex like that happens yeah like, but what, to what degree does the um to what degree is there like an assumption being placed on men to have a relationship with a woman like one night stand culture is like pretty well accepted and actually positively like there's a lot of like positive back clapping and stuff like that that goes on when men get self sexual conquest that's a good thing whereas we if if women i don't uh, i think i think ghosting is generally seen as bad really I don't, like I don't do you think... think that's the case like i feel like I don't know. Like, yeah. 
I don't know. Like, like I feel you like might have not... a few like douchebag like frat boys like fist bumping you, but like generally most people are gonna look at you as kind of a douchebag mm. if you just straight up ghost people. I don't know. know. Like sexual conquest has been like a huge part of like like toxic toxic what we could call toxic male culture for a long time, and people boast um, about like yeah, men, men has... boast about like I mean you've heard that you've probably heard the saying. Male, literally... but first of all, like yeah. male culture has changed drastically over the past two decades to the point where like toxic masculinity is general is like found in like subsections rather than being a universal oh, I don't know creating culture that. it's found in specific friend groups i don't Absolutely. i don't know about that like i mean i think there's been improvement for sure but i don't i mean we're still talking we still live in a country where like you know 75 million people voted for donald trump like or whatever the number is now um like like a lot of people I mean, vote, yeah, but you can, like those you can those even... people like accept these sort of things i mean these are predominantly christian people who believe their wives should be submissive to them like i don't think that it's changed as much like perhaps in among like i mean really yeah, young people. Talking about old people now who don't change any of their oh, no but I it's think not in, just like, old young people. men alive today i think the toxic male culture is going to be found in specific social groups rather mm -hmm. than just a universal culture absolutely yeah. i mean I, I certainly think it's lessened i agree with you but i think we can admit that like right now like in the current state like we haven't we certainly haven't escaped these sort of patriarchal norms like right like um, I, I don't i don't yeah, think that but i don't i don't think that they're as universal as you're painting them to be i think there are still social circles that are toxic okay. absolutely but, but if like, most women like if most women grow up um you know being taught by their parents their dad their mom that like Oh, you need to be careful. Like you need to be super careful not to give men the wrong impression, and it leads to women. And this is something that young women are still taught to this day that they need to be very careful about the way that they present themselves in order to not unintentionally give men the wrong image. This is like a, a discussion that is like regularly talked about, even to this, of course, to this day among I mean, women is like that. That like it's like it's almost like you know it's it's so widespread that like that that like parents talk to their to their daughters and say like oh you need um, to be sure that you're not yeah but it, i right I, so I doesn't it seem a little bit that, like what's that well, n using that as a metric for how universal toxic masculinity is i don't think is that valid I because like know. i think that advice true. is going to be given until like sexual assault stops existing which is never oh. going to happen well but the, i mean like the analogy you know, that, 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 that doesn't change the fact that most sexual assault still happens to to women yeah so but yeah. what the analogy i would draw here is that like the talk that all black men get when they're children it's pro like police yeah. brutality has mm -hmm. gotten better significantly over the past decade a has couple it? decades probably yes absolutely it has um has it but you're still gonna get the talk from your parents because you it's still good advice to get um and you, you still need to be taught about it but that doesn't that doesn't mean that the problem isn't getting better like it absolutely okay. is well, yeah, but I mean, those, but those, but what we're talking about is the societal expectations, right? That affect your life and whether, and in the context of the like greater conversation around the meme is what, uh, is, is whether the OP was correct in the assumptions that were made and saying that like, oh yeah, it's exactly yeah, the same and I think thing. The, it, it's the same. The I mean, to me, written, it seems I like, agree with 100%. oh, okay. Yeah. See, to me, the way that I look at it is I see like a society that still teaches women that like their resp like, I mean, to the degree that like schools have significantly stricter um, dress codes on women because women are seen as being the, um, like temptresses by default it, by a lot of our system still to this day. And that none of that, a lot of that hasn't changed. So women have to live, um, under a certain type of, um, of like assumptions where their, their lives have to be catered around men. And I don't think that a man who over like a man over reading, um, like signs from a woman is, is, and then being frustrated that he didn't get sex is the same thing as a woman getting to the point with a dude where she has sex and then he fucks off. And nor do I think that the the social fallout I don't think is the same, but I also don't think that like the emotional like level of of societal expectations are quite the same there. So I just I just I, I found it a little odd is all, but um, I do think it's I, I do think it's an interesting discussion to have. Um, yeah, I just I I feel like there's a, a certain element of um, perhaps playing into a pre existing narrative that is present in this meme that would make me say, well, I, I don't know if I agree with this a hundred percent. I, um, I well, but yeah. regardless of the narrative that could be made, that doesn't mm -hmm. change the validity of the thing. 
What like, do you mean by that? A statement can be true and play into a larger bad narrative, but the statement itself is still true. Like, wait, 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 which statement are you saying? Like, like, wait, I'm saying like, sorry, like this, a little this meme, for example, in, I'm saying in general, you can say true things mm -hmm. that play into a larger false narrative. Hmm. Well, yeah, but like wouldn't we want to, to wouldn't do. you, well, I mean, it would be something that is true by one particular interpretation, but not, might not be true in the larger picture. Like, for example, um, well, no, I think you can say absolutely objectively true statements that play into a larger. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, like, narrative. like, I mean, there's all kinds of things that are used like that. Like, I mean, like, um, people say, like, uh, I'm trying to think of some examples of like objectively, objectively true, quote unquote, things like, for example, um, one, one that gets weaponized against trans people all the time is like trans people's uh, rate of, of suicide, like suicide attempts. Um, and that's an objectively true number that's being projected, that's being uh, presented in a way to, as to be manipulative. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Oh, um, yeah. Sure. Somebody brought but up I, in I chat think... black crime statistics is another one where the, the, the statistics yeah, are true, but the presentation is. Black crime, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I mean, I, I'm just more familiar with the 40% one because I'm trans. So, you know, it comes to that sort of thing comes to me um, pretty frequently. So that's the same type of thing. And I would argue that like this meme is kind of like that like it might be true indeed that many men get hurt by feeling led on but in the bigger picture it might be um and i believe that this is the case that um they tend to feel led on not because of anything that women are actually doing but because our society uh teaches men basically to interpret everything as um uh, everything other than complete demure passivity from women to be sexual like um a license for sexuality you know what i mean I think um, a lot of women sure. have that experience where they feel like they can't live their lives because everything they do might, um, I mean, especially women in the public sphere, like um, streamers and stuff like that. I, I would like, I've had conversations with other streamers that they feel like they have to be very careful and that they're damned if they do, damned if they don't, no matter what they do, it's going to be seen as um, an invitation for people to become sexual with them, even if they don't want to. And then when they reject it, when they say no, they are treated as though they've done something wrong or that they've hurt somebody. When in reality, they're just enforcing very basic boundaries that are afforded to men, but that aren't afforded in our society to women. Does that make sense? Um, Sure. But I think if you're going to... I think if you're going to outright not have the conversation about how there are women on the platform that exploit their sexuality to get lonely men to give them money, mm. like if you think if you're going to refuse to have entertain that conversation, I think you do more harm than good. Well, who's refusing to have that conversation though? Plenty of people. Ah, see now, now it's coming out. Okay, now this is now we're getting into the meat of it. Okay, I'm interested in this part because um. This is this is what I was a little this is this this is why the meme came off as a little a little stinky to me because it smelled like there was some other narrative going on around the meme, um, but uh, but but I'm actually interested in this now because uh, I find the conversation around women quote unquote using their sexuality on online to be like ridiculously toxic and also like oh it absolutely it's totally it's based as fuck and yeah. it's oh it but the reason it's overblown as fuck is because um mm, oh, i forget there's a fancy that. fancy schmancy university professor phrase for it right um but basically like if you refuse to have certain conversations mm -hmm. Um, the people who have the wrong take mm -hmm. will just publicly give that wrong take and they'll get really loud and everybody, nobody else will really know how to deal with it because mm -hmm. we just never had the conversation. Do you think um, that it's it. possible that that conversation um, happens but and, and that many people are willing to discuss it, but that it's so toxic that whenever the conversation happens, it gets immediately bowled over anyway? Because that's um, my experience. I think it's like a chicken and the egg scenario. I don't really? know if you can... Yeah. See, I, I don't know if, if you can possibly say when the... If the conversation was toxic before or after people stopped talking about it. Well, I mean, given but, the context of it, given the, the... Again, this is where that, that societal context comes, comes in. Is like... I mean, the problem is that men are hugely, hugely... Um, by and large, aggress sexually aggressive towards women in public spaces and have a huge sense of entitlement for sexual attention, regardless of whether that woman um, is sexual or not. I mean, fuck, I remember uh, just this is now this is an anecdote, not any re relevant data, but but 
I think it's it's kind of telling. Um, I remember watching the uh, the release of the new like Hollow Live VTubers. You know what a VTuber is, right? Like the uh, yes. anime yeah. girl. Like yeah, and um, and and I looked was watching the live chat, and it was just like spamming boobies show feet how tall are you how how small are your feet like all like hundreds of people commenting this to a fictional woman uh, with a headshot like doesn't show any body and this happens even to fictional women like like and this like it's really fucking weird there's like a massive problem with this right so i would i would the way that what my takeaway from stuff like that from the preeminence of like people being really sexually aggressive with women online is that um not that it's like oh well no one's willing to have the conversation and this is why but rather that the conversation is so deeply toxic it's so deeply culturally toxic that talking about it at all is invite is opening the door to an incredible amount of harassment, which again, in my experience has been the case. Um, if you've ever watched, I don't know if you, if you've ever watched it, but have you ever seen like any of prime Kai's Amazon Lily, like femme, femme presenting only, um, panels? Uh, I don't, I don't watch enough Twitch. No. Oh, okay. Damn. You're a streamer. You got to watch some streams. It's good for you. I, I do not have time to watch. Any oh, that's unfortunate. Streams. Well, um, just so you know, there, uh, you know, prime has hosted a femme presenting only panel a couple times. Yeah. I, I've heard about the panel. I've just never actually. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there. one of the things that comes up a lot is how much harassment harassment people get and we've had the, and i was actually on the panel one night where people talked about this um the incredible anxiety that n nearly every female creator has about how they present themselves on camera something that ma male creators have no problem i mean fuck i i can't even tell you the number of of male creators i've talked to who are just like yeah I just throw on whatever shirt i want a fucking t tank top whatever um, whereas female creators are like, oh my God, if I don't do makeup, am I going to get freaky comments? If I do do makeup, are people going to like say that I'm being a slut streamer? Um, people call people titty streamers all the time. Like I hear this thrown around all the time to people who I wouldn't even categorize as like even close to that. So don't you feel like the, um, like it's kind of weird to like equate those two sides when it's clearly there's like a cultural well, issue. I'm, about I'm, harassment. I'm not equating them. I'm saying that like, kind of are. um, by not talking about the actual titty streamers for lack of a better term yeah um it does somewhat fuel the um the sexist side of things i mean does like, it obviously or maybe is absolutely maybe, yes. do you think that do you think that maybe it should be okay for some women to be titty streamers um and they should to a certain be, extent like, yeah they should still to, be afforded respect and 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 like basic to a certain humanities. extent yeah oh to a certain extent well because i mean like here's um, the thing yeah i think there are there are definitely ways you can be exploitative in the way that you um use your sexuality absolutely okay so like, would you argue that somebody just being, like just sexualizing yourself for money go for it all you want if you are playing up parasocial relationships with your fans in order to drain them of money um that's probably not good. I mean, that sounds probably very specific. Good. Like, I wouldn't argue that being. I would like... extend the same criticism to non sexualized streamers that do the same parasocial shit. Sure, but the, um, it, but then isn't the problem then the parasociality and not the titties? It's weird that people fix it on um, the titty streamers. And yeah, also, it's weird sure. that people fixate. I mean, oh. when I think of parasocial people, like, one of the most, like, parasocial um, streamers I can think of off the top of my head is Destiny. And yet, nobody would dare call Destiny a titty streamer. But Destiny is very, like, Destiny lives his entire life on stream. He eats food. He talks to his partner. Like, he lives um, his entire life I on stream. And don't... people people genuinely, I mean, I've gotten, as, as somebody who's gotten a fuckload of comments from the Destiny community recently after my debate with Destiny, um, I can tell you a lot of people, they seem to think that Destiny is their, like, personal friend. Like, he seems oh, well, to... this is going to be true of every streamer. Well, not like, every streamer. You are always going to have parasocial people. What I'm saying is well, yeah, but I mean actively actively like play into it by like specifically like developing personal relationships with their viewers and mm. well not even not even really personal ones but mm. acting is i mean it just do. seems to me like there's a pretty obvious double standard here being put towards women oh, there, in there, ab there absolutely is so then how is it fair to put but that doesn't but that how... doesn't change the fact that refusing to talk about well, who's refusing to talk about streamers... it that's the thing who's refusing to talk about well it? i mean you 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 even yourself said people don't want to talk about it because they'll get harassed for it. Well, yeah, but that's because of the people who are harassing them. That's not their fault. Yeah, but... Right? 
I'm saying that by not talking about it, regardless of the reason why, the fact that it seems to be a conversation that people generally don't want to have, that helps play into the sexist narrative. Mm, interesting. See, to me, it sounds like that, to me, that sort of approach to it sounds very like, um, like victim blamey in my opinion like it sounds like it sounds like you're basically saying oh well like they get a double ding like they get dinged by the people who are convinced that they're like titty streamer parasocial whatever even though they're not doing anything other than any other streamer they're just a woman who happens to have boobs and maybe likes to look nice and that um and that justifies them not only receiving like the like the harassment, but also if they don't also talk about it, if they don't also make themselves available, further available to constantly explain themselves and defend themselves to the public, that they're also getting dinged for that. Do you see how that's like, it's like doubling down on the people well, who are already I, receiving I, the no harassment? no point did I say that they like need to expose themselves to harassment. I'm just saying like- Well, if they, like if they try to like push back world, on it and they get the harassed. Fact that they're, the fact that this conversation is not happening does help play into the sexist narrative. It's not the only reason. Sexism is obviously going- sexism on twitch is going to be absolutely fucking cancerous regardless but i'm saying a input into it is going to be the fact that people generally don't um in good faith the only people like i'll put it like this the only people criticizing titty streamers are going to be sexist people generally mm, which i don't know if that's true but i mean also it's like but what what's to be what's to be criticized? Like for example, okay, um, when I when I say titty streamers, I mean like the exploitative kind. Just looking hot and streaming is not bad. Okay, well, because I mean that's what most people use. When most people say titty streamers, that's what. Yeah, they and the the, yeah. the the discussion gets poisoned by that because if the only people criticizing the exploitative streamers are sexist, they're gonna treat all hot women the same. Well, but I mean, problem. maybe do you think that it could also be that like that like the public treats all like hot women the same like that could actually be the problem well, yeah, and maybe the right to claim say that? that sexism is probably going to be like the default generally some yeah, form of sexism is probably going to be the default because the world isn't perfect seems to me like the thing you'd want to push back on then is not the people who say like hey like i have the right to um to wear what i want to on stream within the tos and like it would be it would seem to me then the, the correct action would be to defend those people and their right to do it and not to give in like implicitly to the demands of a group that is in that is well, can inherently both, sexist though. you can simultaneously say looking hot on stream is all right as long as you're not exploiting lonely people well it's really funny because easily. like it's funny you say yes. that though because like i talk about parasociality all the time and how um and I'm like, I mean, literally both in the context of my own stream, my reminding people like, hey, there is the potential for parasociality. Let's try to build actual social relationships and connect with one another. And then also in a larger scale, I talk about parasociality and the manipulativeness of certain structures on these uh, in streaming and other forms of entertainment. I think people talk about parasociality actually quite a lot in streaming, um, even though it's actually very present in a lot of other industries as well. Um uh, and we should talk about that more. Um, I mean, celebrity culture is all about parasociality, right? And it, I mean, that's what the term was originally invented to describe. It was originally the term parasociality or and parasocial relationships was invented in the 50s to describe people having um, imagined relationships with celebrities who are now on the TV in their house. Yeah, it's been a thing ever since celebrities existed. Yeah, it has the internet been. makes it way easier. Yeah. yeah, so I talk about that all the time, but interestingly like you would probably never read that as me criticizing like you said criticizing this like the titty streamers like you said well nobody criticized this titty streamers well that's because the problem is not titty streamers the problem is parasociality and i do criticize parasociality um but, but i think I, I think there it's are there is a to... horde of people who would criticize titty streamers not because of parasociality but because they're a woman who dares exist in public but I think there's value in talking about specific forms of parasociality, and one of those mm -hmm. forms is going to be exploiting your sexuality to get lonely or horny people to give you money. I mean, um, is that exploitative by default? Um, yeah, I think that people that are lonely or horny are probably not in a sober state of mind, and I think you absolutely can mm -hmm. exploit that. Damn. Okay, so would you also feel in the, the same, same way you can exploit somebody who's drunk or high? Oh, wow. That's like, I mean, that to me, that feels like a massive, like a massive false equivalency, like drunk or high, I mean, depending how? on the drug. It's, right? the horm Wait. it's hormones in the brain. It's the exact same thing as alcohol or any other drug. Um, 
I don't know what, uh, maybe we have very different experiences of being horny. Um, but, uh, well, I mean, I mean, it's literally wait, wait. a chemical in your brain that's going to affect. So is everything. Process. So is everything. So is feeling joyful. So is feeling excited. Yeah. And we can draw certain lines in certain places, but I think, right, but I think you'd be you're saying that lonely out of and place horny. to say that wait. nobody has ever done anything that they wouldn't do otherwise because they were horny. Can you explain that's... to me, like, can you explain to me how this is different than, um, than saying that it's women's fault for wearing a short skirt because men can't, can't control them. They're not in there. They're not thinking straight. Well, Okay. How is that? Di how is this different? I want to know how this is a different argument because it sounds exactly the same. Um, because the okay, hold on. So when you are sexually assaulting someone, okay, okay, you are you are going the you are going out of your way to do that. Okay, okay, yeah. If you are talking to somebody and you're super horny, uh -huh. and they get you to I don't fucking know, go drive to a convenience store and buy them food. Okay. Right, yeah. like these are not comparable situations here. I mean, like, I mean, you, you cannot you, use you the literally. Wait, I you, was horny to to sexually assault someone because wait, that's. So if you're horny and you sexually harass someone who you have per, who you perceive is leading you on, that would be a bad thing, right? And yeah. that would would that also be would you sexual consider harassment is generally bad right yeah. right so then but what you're saying is is that the state of being horny means that people can't that men presumably mostly in this case I think um, can't control themselves and can't make any action would to that a, be, certain to a certain extent, extent? okay but then themselves. so what you're saying then is that men who choose to log on to the internet and watch streams are the responsibility of the woman who's streaming to her audience for whatever reason even if she decides to like show big booby like. That is not it. You would yeah, agree. Wait, 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 extent, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. You would agree that showing big booby is not um, is not inherently an invitation um, for sexual attention, right? For sexual harassment. Well, Absolutely for sexual not. attention in general, like even if you have oh, like like even like um, like for example, like right now, like I have like. I have a relatively low cut shirt because I think I look really good in this. I don't want any sexual attention. I have all the sexual attention. Okay, well, that I okay. Want. how are we defining sexual attention here? Well, yeah, I mean, it depends, right? Mean? There's a lot of different ways, but the argument you're making implies. If you mean, so. Yeah, the argument. Sexual harassment? I would say absolutely not. Okay. But uh, attention? I don't know how you're defining that because to me, like, attention could mean literally like anybody finding that arousing which seems sure. like a crazy standard but the hold. way that the way that you the way that you framed this originally was that women booby streamers that there's a little bit of vagueness on what we're actually talking about but women um are exploiting horny and lonely men um some women are exploiting some lonely and horny well, men then those lines become pretty important and that's what we're trying to figure out here right like um, because well, i would these argue it's gonna be impossible to literally like be able to draw some, some yeah, sort of I mean, TOS to determine when somebody yeah. is lonely. Okay? I don't think we need it to be that severe, but you equated, I mean, this is your own words. I'm just, I'm approaching your argument here, which is that you argued that horniness and loneliness was equivalent. In, and you said equivalent in your mind to being drunk or high. No, 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 not equivalent to being drunk or on okay. drugs, so you're but taking can that one be back. exploited in the same way. Really? In so, similar ways. So yeah. you think? Well, see that that seems absurd. Like, obviously, if you're on like fucking like meth, obviously it's gonna make you. Well, but I mean, alcohol is an incredible than just being buzzed. Well, yeah, but being but like alcohol is incredibly is an incredibly debilitating drug. Like I know that it's like yeah. destigmatized in our society, but but alcohol is an incredibly debilitating drug. Yeah, alcohol I don't, is a pretty. At pretty least for myself, drug. and I don't know, maybe maybe there is a um a different a different issue for people horny, but I don't know. Most people, I think, are pretty have a, a decent amount of clarity when they're horny um and even when they're lonely like i've been lonely many times in my life i'm lonely all the time i don't know if i would put lauren lonely in the same category because i don't know if there's like a as much of like a physiological state of loneliness well, it definitely is i mean after all i mean we don't this is a little bit of a side well, like, i side guess like, angle, with, like depression like, and stuff yeah, but like i mean people take opioids often to alleviate loneliness because lone uh, opioids contain a drug that um that satisfies the same chemical centers that uh that um what's it called o like oxytocin um is, is is it fills that and oxytocin is what we get from being near other humans and being intimate with other humans a lot of the opioid epidemic is driven by loneliness and people take those drugs because it actually fills those same chemical receptors so like like it does it is actually a strong chemical but i would just argue there's significantly different degrees right like um 
Like, I don't know. And, and again, this just, all of this seems very odd to me to ultimately put the responsibility on a, on women who are by and large just trying to make a living and have fun doing it uh, their well, profession. Well, in the same way that you would put responsibility on um, a frat guy at a party to to not bring a drunk girl home with him. Like, do you think, wait, wait, what? I'm sorry, can you clarify that? In the same level of responsibility of like, if you know that somebody is impaired in some way, you probably shouldn't be like encouraging them to make decisions that you don't think they would make otherwise. Okay, but if you're a streamer and and you're just sitting there and talking about stuff and whatever you're doing and you got your, in, maybe you're a titty streamer, maybe you've got like a low cut shirt or whatever and there are people giving you money, um, how do you know? That on its own, with the situation you just yeah. described, just looking hot, I don't think that's exploitative. Okay. So then what is the, what, where, where do you draw the line? I think that's where we can get I to the I think if you're like this. actively like talking or flirting mm -hmm. with specific people in chat um, and like, I, I don't know how to give a specific example, but I think if you're engaging with specific people, I think that's where you can start to enter into exploitative territory. Okay. Like sitting there looking hot is not exploitative, okay. but if you're like literally talking to people. But we can acknowledge that a lot of, them. that there's a fuckload of women who are just sitting there and looking hot who get treated as though they're yeah and that's wrong but right. that isn't but that's really that wrong women though, right like and that's a don't lot of sit there right but but would do you think that a majority of women online are like purposely not even targeting... close to a majority yeah, yeah no, okay. obviously so not. then i would argue then that much like we've been talking about this entire time the, the pre-existing societal problem would be with a society which with a society that normalizes um that assumption being placed on women to that degree which they do Basically, I mean, I've, um, I, can, I can't I even tell I you the number of conversations that, people I've had being angry as fuck about ex-titty streamer. I mean, they put all kinds of people like as, as titty streamers. I've heard all kinds of fucking people called titty streamers. So I'm just like, what the fuck? Yeah, and I'm like, 100%. And then, and, but but, then you, but you know what I never see? I never see anybody. Yeah. I never see anybody it's, say the same thing about is, men who, who have really parasocial relationships with their audience. Yes. So sexism is always is always going to be a much larger problem than the exploitation of talking about but it still does exist like there are plenty of streamers yeah. out there who mm -hmm. are hot and who can't who flirt with their moderation team and imply that there's a possibility that people on the moderation team could have a relationship with them meantime they were married the whole time <laughs> like uh this sounds that like kind a of thing is, example or something um yeah i think it, i i might be wrong with the name but i'm pretty sure this was amaranth i think i could be entirely amaranth. wrong here but i remember there was a big drama where um it was revealed that um the the streamer had a husband and like people were upset and at first um i was like oh this is pretty dumb like people mm -hmm. were just people are just being dumb horny idiots but when you actually looked into it like there were a few people not like all of lsf or whatever but there were a few people that had legitimate grievances because she had like kind of led them on in dms okay. and stuff and like like called people like cute and being pretty flirty with people oh. um despite See, i just think that i think that the um the like the standards that are held between women and men online are like ridiculous like obviously completely slanted like if somebody will like send a picture of themselves to a woman and she's like oh you look cute haha -ha, bye then they'll be like oh she was leading me on like i should have been able to fuck her like she was wanting me like she was like you know and this keeps happening too like um i don't know like i've seen so well, many i don't know these, if like, that's I, I mean <laughs> right like i don't know i feel I mean, like this is like it's so flirty. predominant though. i mean what's that I mean, wait, 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 do you think that like, wait, do you think that if somebody like, it, like, hold on, this is an interesting question. Cause like, I don't, I don't know where you're coming from on this entirely. I mean, that but... could easily be seen as pretty flirty. Yeah. Wait, just saying someone is cute. Okay. Literally, if that's the only thing that they've ever said to you, um, then probably not. Okay. But like in a greater context, absolutely. That could be flirty. Mm. See, cause I feel like a or lot of, I feel like such. I, I'll be completely honest with you. I feel like there's a lot of guys who will take any positive thing that's said towards them by a woman as an, a, again, as an invitation um, well, for sexual Well, the reason action. they do that is because men don't get compliments ever. So and the only time uh, people are going to be complimenting men is probably if they find them. Okay, but now this sounds like you're, this, this sounds like. Absolutely, you're, this is absolutely, this is 1,000 this sounds, true. Yeah, but this sounds like, wait a second. This sounds, again, like you're you're circling the world world into ultimately pinning this all on the victims of their 
of their assumptions. And that's what my concern was with the original meme. That's what my concern well, was I mean, here. The, the and and it seems like at each men point, don't though, get compliments, right? Like that's, well, wait, the, wait, that's the cause wait, of that is not, wait, that's not the, that's not the only problem here. Like that is, is a part of it for sure. The cause. So the, the problem we're looking at is men reading in too much to compliments. Yeah. By like, not just that, like, yeah, but yes, men, men reading too much into everything with women, like to the degree that like women have to women yeah, feel it, like men they're reading too much in their into positive society. interaction. Right. Yeah. Um, I would say the cause of that is going to be the fact that men don't get positive interaction in general. So anything that they get, they're going to overreact to. I think that's, the, but in our that's society, the cause of the problem. I don't think it's fair to lay the blame on men when. Oh, I mean, but I it. don't think it's just men. I mean, I do have a huge credit critique. I mean, I'm a feminist. I have a very strong critique of the way that patriarchy um, operates in our society. And I think patriarchy is incredibly harmful to men. And I do think it's largely perpetuated by men who mostly powerful men. And it's perpetuated by everybody. I mean, it is, but I think that it's, but I mean, like much like systemic racism women aren't giving men compliments either like, well to be honest but no they're not well, hold on a second hold on a second before you i mean like before you get too worked up about that um like there is like we've just acknowledged that if women give a compliment to men they could be the victim of stop being stopped this is normal occurrence like again we, uh, well hold yeah. on hold on and let, then let obviously me finish the man is at fault there well yeah but but, but you the do cause of wait, that wait, 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 but you realize though that that has a freezing effect on all women. If women know that there's a very good chance that if they pay any attention to a man, that man will take it as license to pursue them sexually, that has a freezing effect on um, all women. Sure. And that ha that's a problem that needs to be fixed by men. That's not a problem that can be fixed uh, by this women. This is a this is a another chicken and the egg. Thing. It's not chicken like, and egg though, because it this no, this it is, is. A, no no it is not. This is a culture that is perpetuated by the people who currently yeah, hold but the, the systemic power. the original cause is that men don't get compliments. The, the, they see yeah, but anything that's not the original man. cause. That's not the original. No, wait, do you that, think that, that, do you think that, wait, do you think that for all of history, women have never given any attention to men? Because that's simply not true. Okay, for all of history, no. Yeah. But like, so, generally, men are not complimented. No, that's... Yeah, but that's in our for, society. We have a hyper-patriarchal, hyper-toxic masculine society that give, that, yes, that puts but women on... the patriarchy on, is reinforced by everyone, not The just patriarchy men. isn't... But, okay, but the patriarchy isn't reinforced by everybody. That's like saying that racism is reinforced by black people. It isn't. That's not, the same, that's not how well, that works. I mean... It can be though. Well, yeah, but ways. it's not. Yeah. But it's not. It's not equivalent though. We know that powerful white people in positions of power. It's not equivalent, but that doesn't mean that it's not a part of it. And also, I don't know if you could compare patriarchy to systemic racism. Oh, I think you absolutely can. Game. And I would argue. Wait. Oh, absolutely. Like this is one area where I absolutely think you can. Um. Uh. Like women have been like like when we're talking about patriarchy, patriarchy outlives nearly every other institution of of, of of oppression in our entire in our entire planet do you know how many societies for how long they've had women in subjugated roles like this is i mean we're talking um, like functional slaves like women like it's really bad yeah, but we're not yeah. talking about we're not talking about like material patriarchy we're talking about social stuff no which is but but so wait separate. but social they're not separate social patriarchy absolutely empowers like wait what do you what, what what do you think keeps women out of stem do you think it's just like women don't like science or do you think it's the fact that they're not even given the opportunity to ever study science that they're that when they go into the field they're treated horribly that there's so few of them that when they go in there they they have like like 80% reporting of severe feelings of imposter syndrome. Like imposter syndrome is literally a massive problem among women in STEM because they're mistreated and talked down to and they're not okay. mistreated um, as norm. But for for everything you're going to give me, I'm going to give you like a thing about like men. Like why don't men go to college, period? Why are men underperforming um, in like math and science subjects in elementary and middle and high school? Um, like- Wait, that's not- you can You can draw these stories about literally- but we're, but we're talking about what 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 starts the problem and where and how it's and how it's perpetuated and when we're looking at how these things are perpetuated patriarchy is largely perpetuated by those who hold power in patriarchy aka um men, i don't know about largely these specific white examples i'm wait, wait, wait. pretty sure how? that men men not being complimented is going to be i mean if not 
if not more perpetuated by women not complimenting men, at least in equal parts. Like men not getting complimented on their physical appearance ever is definitely not going to be And who's to blame something for that, that's perpetuated though. by powerful men. Wait, you really don't you really don't think that's the case? You don't think that people like I, Wait, 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 hold on. Let me give me wait, wait, let me wait, wait, let me give you an example of this. I can I can give you an example that proves you wrong right away. The best example of this is Harvey Weinstein. Harvey Weinstein is a very very powerful man, a very rich and powerful man, a very powerful rich white man who regularly used his power and strength to do exactly that, to pursue women against their wishes to literally, I mean, he literally sexually abused multiple people. He is literally the cause of this. He is one of the people who uses that power. What does this have to do with men not getting confidence? What do you mean? Wait, it absolutely does. Because if, if men in power are normalizing using power to make women unsafe, to pursue women at so, so much as the little drop of a hat, if that's the norm for women, women will learn that they can't say things to men without be putting themselves in danger of severe harm. Harm much worse than not getting a compliment. You, but not all men are in positions not of power. All, yeah, but not all men are like that. But we do recognize, you do recognize that there are, like, for example, women who get a lot of attention are, like, nearly every woman that I know has been either stalked or sexually, uh, or, like, severely sexually harassed at some point in their life by a man that they did not feel that they were leading on at all. That they didn't even do anything. Sometimes it's completely unprovoked. But usually you have one conversation and that person keeps pushing and keeps pushing. And you can't tell them no because they get angry. That's like a, a universal. Okay. Like, and well, if then you, maybe don't so, compliment strangers. Maybe compliment your friends. Well, maybe. but what if it's your friends that do that? Because that's what happens to a lot of people. That well, is what, I mean, and there we go. We're back to the meme, right? Which is the whole thing about like, oh, well, look at how complicated friendship has to be for women because they might get stalked or harassed. Now, not every woman's going to have this happen, but well, actually most women in our society have had some experience of this at some point or another. So it is really, really bad. It's really, it's, it's actually real, like, like, and it's, it's an epidemic. Like it's all over the place. And that's why this whole conversation that we've had has centered well, around yeah, but it's an epidemic in both ways. Like, if you've ever seen any fucking Twitter thread about like, well, when if like, hey men, when was the last time you were complimented? And it's mm -hmm. just a fucking flood. It's a deluge. It's a fucking well, yeah, monsoon well, of people saying, well, one time in the sixth grade, a girl said my shirt looked cool. Yeah. Do you think that if we were looking to, if we were trying to take an approach that wasn't just about like you know blame the woms or whatever wouldn't we want to look at what actually causes that and what actually causes that yeah and i think what well what i think what do you causes, think causes the behavior of men looking into compliments too much is the yeah. fact that they don't get any i think that's uh, the cause so it's women's fault is what you're saying and it has nothing to do with the fact that our society individual has been single women right, individual right. single woman's fault no do i think it is um probably more attributable to women as a class overall okay. probably because so that's compliments are generally going to be intergender rather than intragender mm. it's interesting you should say that because um like i said at least especially here in america i can't speak for the entire world but here in america um women haven't had rights for very long like women have literally not had the ability to do anything and in fact like i mean hell it's 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 actually ridiculous how 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 out of whack it is and women have barely even just started to attain equality we still don't even have like there's still a pay gap there's still a huge representation gap so this is these are huge parts of our society and yet it's still yeah, wait, and yet, wait hold on a second we're getting there and yet it's still somehow supposed to be it's somehow women's fault that women as a whole need to compliment men more and not that men the ones who statistically predominantly like by a large margin hold the most power in our society both societally economically and in many cases physically they hold that much power that it's the men who then need to address that culture that men need to go oh shit this culture the way that we make women live the way that we make women means that none of us get compliments because all the women are too afraid that we might fucking stalk them and sure it's not fair for me as a man uh, to inherit that any more fair than it is for a woman to inherit it. But nonetheless, it is men who have the ability to end this particular cycle, right? Well, if they're the ones who've the been for too. all for all of mem for all of uh, you know history within generations, 
um, like for, for generations, men have held all types of power in society. Everything from religious to societal to economic, all types of power have been, have been given to men. So they can, they can use that power. That's what I'm saying. There's actually very big stakes for women. Well, but um, I, I don't think you can yeah. like use, I don't think economic power plays a significant also, why the role fuck don't into men giving why don't, why don't men compliment men? Why the fuck don't men compliment men? Isn't that another big problem too? Don't you think that maybe if men paid each other more, a little bit more compliments, if they were a little bit more kind to one another, then maybe they wouldn't be so desperate. No, it wouldn't and solve the problem of men reading into women too much because if Damn. women still aren't giving out compliments, it wouldn't help that problem. No. See, this was my concern with this meme is that I felt like it was betraying a. Wait, a, do you disagree with that? With what? Sorry. Do you disagree? If if men gave each other compliments, that's great. Oh, but I it think it would solve the problem of men reading into women's compliments. Oh too no, much. no, no! I think it would be huge. I think it would actually have a huge effect. And the reason why I believe this, and now of I course, think these are completely separate. I think I even if think every so. every man was to give all of his male friends one compliment a day, literally every day, yeah. of every week of every so month. So wait a minute. Okay? So that wait a would minute. not change. That would not fix the problem. So of it's men not reading too much into women's compliments. Wait, we've revealed something here, Discrub King, which is that it has nothing to do with the compliments. It has to do with attention from women. And my point is that your well, argument compliments assumes... and positive attention from women are synonyms. No, wait a second. That's not the same thing. Yes. What, no, no. What you're saying now, th your argument that you're making right now is that it has nothing to do with it has nothing to do with compliments. It has nothing to do with with um, men's uh, men having a, a you know ego problems or anything. It's that women aren't giving men enough attention. That is what this boils down okay. to. And that was my I, concern with the meme. and positive attention are literally synonyms. What? What do you think a compliment is? What? Wait, wait, wait I'm sorry, but what, what is your point with this? They're not, they're like, a compliment is, is when you, when you literally... The point is that you're framing this in, like, a, in, like, a weird way where you're trying to no. say, that, you're trying to paint me as saying that women owe men attention. Well, you are saying, when, like, that's what your argument is saying. I'm trying to point that out to you, that that's what you're arguing. Your argument says, because I asked, I, I said, I think that it would make a big difference if, if men aren't receiving compliments ever, then it would actually make a big difference if men, who, again, hold economic societal religious power in our society if men took it on themselves to compliment one another to build one another up they would be less desperate for compliments from women and but then you return by it has nothing to do with that it's from women it has to come from women and that means ultimately if we're following your logic here that it is the problem in your mind is that women um aren't giving enough to men you see what you're saying? If that's, that's how you want to phrase it, then sure. No, no, wait. That's the how you're phrasing that women it. That's are not argument. giving enough positive attention to men in their lives. Not any random man. Not no man is entitled to the attention of a random woman. But, no, but men that's what it, do that's not how it works out when that's attention your... from the women in their lives. Yes. Hmm. Interesting. So, I mean, it's interesting. What what has happened in this conversation has basically been me sh like illustrating to you how first of all the meme plays into these like societal stereotypes and doesn't really say what i think it was going to say but then from there on it's been to reveal that in at every turn you take the uh responsibility off of men and put it on women at every turn even when it's objectively if you true you think that i do this at every turn well that's what you've I done am... no wait wait i'm just okay. saying that's what you've done in this conversation i'm not like mad at you or anything i just i'm saying that in the course of this conversation well, because everything is falling back on men. women's fault oh that's a like that's the thing some parts of patriarchy are perpetrated wait, wait, majority some... by women wait and like what wait those, like what i like think what? it's safe to say that the fact that men don't get complimented by women ever i think that is safe to put in the lap of women as mm, probably the largest contributing cause to that. So so what you're saying is that patriarchy, which is, you know, the rule of men, men being the predominant members of society, seen as the most important, the ones who need to be attention to, need to be given more you attention. You are conflating a lot I'm of not things. conflating when it. I this is very attention simple. attention from women in their lives, I do not mean any random man is entitled to the attention of any random woman. What I mean is men do not get enough positive attention mm -hmm. or as i would put it compliments from women? they do not get those from the women in their lives mm. key phrase here is in their lives so, meaning the friends that they already have yeah. or their girlfriends or their right. mothers or it their sounds, sisters it or sounds to me the fuck. it sounds to me like the the problem is that the the stakes at the table are uh women if they don't give if they don't give a compliment to a man 
then at worst, that man doesn't get a compliment. But if they do, it could be, it's, it's very, in fact, it's quite likely, it's a very reasonable thing for a woman to assume that if she, I mean, you literally said it yourself here that you thought that cute, saying somebody looks cute is flirty. Like that's like that yeah, was, because to the average man it is. That's how yeah, starved but do you for not attention see, most men are. Do you not see where this problem is though? That this is a problem with men. This is a problem where, with men. They're men are the ones who are putting women in a dangerous position, which leads to them. It's like it's like saying like um like like I'm trying to complimenting compliment. your friends, complimenting your male friends should not put you in any danger. But guess you what? But wait, friends. but see, here's the thing. Well, it's funny you say that, but it's it's really funny that you're that callous to that approach. But the fact of the matter is that most women can't do that because of the way our can't society have is. Male friends. Yes, that's what we were talking about with all of this. And that's wait, just wait, the men's wait, wait. Yes, it is. It absolutely. Really? Now, it, now, I don't mean I don't mean that like it's all men's fault, but in patriarchy where men are, are in control by, by and large, they are in control of most of society, most of the economy, most of religion. It is up this to is them. This is not how we analyze oh. systemic problems. Oh, it absolutely and is. Oh, it absolutely. What do you mean? No, what are you talking about? Not. If we were to transfer this to racism, you're saying that every white person is responsible in some, it's like, it should feel personally at nope. fault. No, nope. police. That's brutality, not what I said at all. Which is actually. a ludicrous. That's not what I've make. said. No, if we were to transfer this directly to race, it would be that. Um, can you imagine if there was somebody who came on my show and argued that black people need to be doing more um, instead of white people? The white people who are doing the racism. That's what you're. Well, you're I mean, taking yeah, that are, position. You're essentially arguing. People need to work on. Yeah, but you're essentially arguing racism, that, that black people need to do more. They should just do more things to make white people happy. That's the argument you're making here. That's the equivalent argument because you're saying that women um, need to do more things. No, because there to isn't appease a societal the patriarchy. problem with black people getting compliments from white people. It's completely disanalogous. Well, yeah, but we're, no, these aren't disanalogous. You made that analogy. You just did that. Like I didn't bring up the racism thing just now. You did. You said that you drew that parallel and the parallel would be very similar. I drew similar. it to illustrate how dumb it is to analyze individual relationships through the view well, of Well, then you were impugning problems. your own argument. Systemic. Patriarchy existing should not preclude you from having male friends. That's oh, insane. of course not. But it does. But guess what? It doesn't. What instead it does? It doesn't preclude most women don't re withdraw from being friends with men. What they ignore, what they end up happening is they end up doing exactly the same thing and suffering as a result. So, for example, like I said, um, and I mean you can look up the stats on this. The stats are very available on the on the on the um, how common stalking, sexual harassment, the sexual stats assault. The are also there on how often men blow their brains out because they're depressed. Yes, and guess what? But you, but guess what? I think that you know for a fact that um, the suicide rates among men is not even close to only caused because women don't pay them compliments enough. It's a big part of it. No, I don't. Are you, are you, are you memeing at this point? Yeah. The Scrub King. Okay, you are memeing? Okay, that was a meme. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, self-esteem issues that stem from never getting any positive attention are probably going to be a big contributing factor to people Don't killing themselves. Don't you think there could be like a whole lot else that is involved with that? Like, for example, um, yeah, that's like, why I never like said it was fathers, the only reason. fathers that's why who I said it was a reason. Like, like for example, like fathers who abuse their their male sons for being sensitive and thus thus using their position in patriarchy as a powerful male social figure. That is not a. That's not. A, it's a huge wait what wait. an abusive father being abusive to their child is not an example of patriarchy yes it literally is power. wait a second it absolutely no, wait it is yes not. wait hold on a second the power wait 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 wait, 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 wait. Parent no 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 before you child before you before you go power. off on this it absolutely 100 percent is if when it's an eight hold on different. let me let me explain wait let me explain let me explain hold on hold on let me explain when you have a society that is patriarchal in nature that says the dad is the is the head of the house and he gets the money and he makes the decisions and that he gets to make the calls over the household which is the the household that damn near everyone that uh, that you can meet in America would grow up under that they would absolutely uh grow up under that sort of structure i did 
when I Do you think abusive mothers don't exist? Oh no, 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 no. I think boob. Oh wait, I know abusive mothers exist. Promise me, I know. Okay, so but maybe what I'm the saying problem is, with on. abusive parents isn't the patriarchy part, but just the fact that they're older and or, you know hold all of the financial power in the household. Or maybe, maybe because we're talking about systems, we can acknowledge that a that a patriarchal system is on a broad level going to contribute to these partic particular things like for example if you have a society that by and large teaches women that they are to be submissive to their husband and then their husband is also simultaneously taught that uh he should be austere and never show his emotions because he's the leader of the house and then he reinforces that on his children because he's given the most power in that society yeah you're going to start to see these things and much like with the racism discussion it is it is it is absolutely legitimate to say, hey, those of you who hold hold power, stop doing the thing. So like, for example, you might say, hey, white people, white people who have a fuckload of power and are really rich and maybe have fa like inherited money that they um, that from their grandparents who owned slaves. Maybe you should consider not contributing to to systemic racism. Maybe we should try to fix these problems. But you can't. It can't. But individuals just... don't fix those problems. Well, of course not. But we're not just talking about individuals. Individual behaviors will never, ever, 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 oh, ever, ever, ever change. A system wait, of then you're d you're arguing against your own point. Because your point is huh? that women should complement men more. As a as a class, as a group, yeah. not individual women. Well, men as a class sh would be, would would get more compliments. The but fastest men, way. Wait, as the a, fastest men way. as a class. Do not stalk and harass women. Individual men do. Oh, wait a minute. But they do. That's the thing. Men as a class no. do. Wait a second. You can't have it. Wait, you can't have it both ways. You can't say that women as a class should do X thing, but men as a class don't get to be reflective of their of their of the negatives. As a class, men are prime the primary um uh the the by a long shot, the primary um what's the word? I'm, I'm blanking on the word, uh, not the victim, but the perpetrators. They are the primary perpetrators of yeah, stalking and, harassment. And black men are the primary perpetrators of rape and murder. Does that mean it's cool to just discriminate against black people? No. That's okay, not even so close then maybe to we the same shouldn't thing. Be, maybe we shouldn't be That's mixing not up even classes and individuals same. like this. Wait, you're the one who's mixing up classes and individuals. I'm no, saying... No, 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 no. I have never once yes, ever have. said that women individually should feel personally responsible for men not getting compliments. What? I'm sorry, what? I have never once said that women should feel personally responsible for men not getting compliments. What I'm saying is the solution is going to require that women compliment men in their lives more. And is also going to require what else? I think that will solve the other problem. You really can't do it. You literally, you, wait, okay. Can you just be honest with me, Describe King? Do you think that like, do you actually believe Do you that... think it's more like Wait, no, 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 hold on. Get... And, wait, no, no, it's my turn on. to answer question. Ask question. No, 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 no. Wait, I was asking a question first. You got to wait your sure. turn. Okay. Listen, we're, we're a, a egalitarian stream here. All right. Um, mm -hmm. So listen, let me ask you something real quick. Do you think, um, do, do you actually believe that that patriarchy exists or do you not think or or like do you think that that no i i definitely think patriarchy exists okay um, so if that's the case you yeah. acknowledge that there is an and as a class as a class men hold a significant more societal power and ability to in engage you you either believe in it or you don't Yes, obviously, no, no, no. there's Patriot certain areas. I'm not saying. Wait, wait, hold on. I'm not saying that like every single. There are man areas is... in which women hold more power. Like what? Just out of curiosity. Um, ooh, um, mm. I mean, there's the big ooh, meme of like. Damn, you can't even think person. of it. You can't. Come on, dude. I'm literally saying it right now. Go can ahead, you give me it. like yeah, go 15 it. seconds? Sure, go for it. Okay. Uh -huh. The easy go-to meme is either family courts or women and children first in disasters or the draft or any of these other examples mm -hmm. yeah. in which women hold more power over men societally. Do you think they hold- Because patriarchy more... isn't universal. Do you think they hold more power or do you think that- When the twin like towers are falling and women get to stand at the front of the line, yeah. Oh, I don't know if that actually happened, but 
Yeah, I don't, I don't think that actually happened. Okay. Um, um, I right. don't know anything about the... Tw I don't think anything happened with the Twin Towers, but all right. What I'm saying is is that, like... Um, when there's a phone call for domestic abuse and the police show up and arrest the man no matter what, that's an example. Oh, yeah, that's definitely wrong. I mean... Um, but, but you don't think that's an wait, wait, example of wait. systemic power in favor of women? No, no, not systemic power. No, not at all. How is it wait, not? Wait, not it's at all. Literally... No, wait, hold on, what? hold on. Let me explain. Let me ex explain this very easily to you. It's actually super, super easy. Do you know where? Do you know why that's the case? Now, it is a bad thing. It is a bad Generally, outcome. Men I will agree. are going to be the abuser, but is that an excuse? Wait a second. Hold on a second, my dude. You have to actually understand why why this is the case. It is because it is assumed that women cannot defend themselves at all. They are literally dehumanized even in that. No, I think yes. the reason they arrest no, no, men is I'm because sorry. generally You're dead men wrong are on this. seen as the you are, you are absolutely dead wrong on this. It's because for all of society, women were taught, w women have been presented as completely powerless and needing to be saved at all times. And interestingly, this is an ask. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, what? Do you not think that women generally in like... Is this the mask off moment where you just like... Do you, you think men are stronger than women? I mean, like, it, yeah, to a certain degree. Okay, so do you yeah. think in like, like, like sort but, of like but, threatening situation, like, it might make some kind of sense? You are now doing... Wait, hold on. Wow, this is really fascinating. You are actually proving my point live. You are proving no, my point I'm, that I'm you really believe. Not. If you think I am, you yes. are. Yes. No. Hold on a second. Mistaken. Wait. Hold on. Let me explain this to you. You're literally proving my my point immediately. Right. Really? Now. How? Yes. I'm because curious you are saying that proving? women need to be women are fragile and and must always be protected to the degree that it is okay. You literally just said it. Not it is. Always. Wait. Hold on. Wait. Let me always. finish. Yes. You just said it is rational for them to assume that men will be the aggressor. You literally just did a toxic masculinity live. No, I yes, never you said did. aggressor, I said more of a threat. We're, we're, that's the same thing. You know that's exactly the same thing, no, right? No, oh, come being on. more of a threat that is, is the not same the thing. same as being an aggressor. Absolutely Wait, wait, more not. of a threat is absolutely the same. Like, if you're saying that it's as being rational... The aggressor? Wait, wait, no, wait. No, no shot. If you're, what are you if, talking if about? You're saying, if I'm holding a fully automatic rifle and somebody's coming at me with a knife, who's the aggressor? What? That doesn't have. If what I'm that holding a gun and do? someone's charging me with a knife, who's the aggressor? What does that have to do with anything? Answer the question. If I'm holding a gun and someone's gotcha? charging me with a knife, who is the aggressor? Well, I don't know. Did you shoot first? If I am holding a gun and yeah. someone's did you charging shoot me at with him a first? knife, who's did the you aggressor? Shoot I'm, I'm trying to get more information. No, did you I did. I haven't fired a okay. single bullet. Well, the gun's obviously actually... the guy rushing at you with a knife is the aggressor, of course. Okay, but who's the bigger threat? The guy with the knife who's charging at you? Really? Not the guy holding a gun? Yeah. Like, I mean, it depends what? on the context, right? Like, it de totally depends <laughs> on... <laughs> Wait. Yeah? Like, to who? Right? If you're holding a gun and somebody's charging at you with a knife, and you shoot at the guy, and then the police come back, and you have lowered the gun because you shot at the guy with the knife, and you go, hey, hey, you're not a threat at all. I don't know what you're talking this about. Is this feels like I don't know how no, you wait, could, with wait. a straight face, say that aggressor and bigger threat are the same thing. That's I'm, actually I, I'm crazy. Just very, to me. I'm sorry. Listen, I'm really confused as to what argument you're making. Okay, we were I'm talking. Saying that somebody I don't know being what the you're like. Aggressor is off irrelevant to? of how much of a threat that they pose. Wait, wait, but it absolutely. Do wait, hold on a second. Okay, not at all. They're what? literally okay, unrelated wait, wait, wait. to I, each other. I just want to get to the bottom. I want to get to the bottom of what you're saying. Somebody being a bigger threat. What does that functionally mean? Like in the context, do you think that in Being the case- Being a bigger threat, having more capacity to cause harm. Okay, so do you think then, given in your little, in your little, um, may, you know, hypothetical that you've drawn up here, do you think then that if, if the person with the knife was charging at you and you shoot at them, maybe you don't kill them, maybe you shoot at them and they back off and the police come in and they shoot you because you're holding a gun, do you think that's justified? Because under your argument, what? you're saying that because wait wait wait, wait listen, whoa, whoa. we are so far removed. No no I'm no just no talking no. About you're talking about aggressor versus bigger threat. No no no, you That's were talking. I'm, I'm just talking about these definitions. Yeah, because because you no 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 because okay. you've intended, you've asked, you've like you've like in, 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 uh you've you've demanded to be super super hair splitty about these words. When my point, it's not very hair splitty. Wait, it absolutely is. I don't know what you're saying. You literally brought up this this hypothetical. What is your point here? My point. 
is that it's reasonable to see the man as the bigger threat in a domestic abuse Damn, scenario. Damn, nice but, toxic no, no, masculinity, no, 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 my no, dude. Please, let me finish the sentence. Please, there was a comma and there was a but, okay? Yeah. But mm -hmm. it is not okay to assume that they are the aggressor. Um, because these are two separate things. Damn. So then, so what you just said was a non-point. It was a complete non sequitur. What you're, what you're no, saying? No, yep. it's actually an extremely valid. Really? Point. Okay. So, so what you're because saying I is, think wait, it is wait, unfair wait a minute. That so, in a domestic abuse scenario, the man is always arrested, no matter what. Generally, because he's the bigger be threat, the isn't he? Easily. Because he's the bigger Even threat, which is what threat, you were advocating for. Your arguments are like a pretzel, my dude. No, I'm not advocating okay. for that. I do not think you should arrest the biggest threat. I think you should arrest the aggressor. Okay. So when we talk about why men are arrested all the time. When it's because they're seen as the aggressors. They're seen not just as the aggressor, but they're seen both they're as seen a threat as and an aggressor. But they yeah. are seen as the aggressors by default, which is okay. incorrect. Yeah, but... You do realize but they that the are the reason, bigger wait, threat in almost wait, every situation. Realize, they are going to be the bigger threat, but that doesn't you do mean you realize, though, that those things are very closely tied. That people who are no, yes, not at all, if, actually. Oh Some, my God. Somebody being a threat has literally wait, nothing wait, to do with real? whether or not they're the aggressor. Wait, nothing at all. But absolutely. it has a lot to do with the perception. When you have low information, if you have an assumption that someone is a threat, I mean, this literally happens. Like this, this actually has a direct parallel. With racism. This is a direct parallel with racism. So do you think yep. it's like Hold good on. that police officers will just arrest the black guy by default? No! Or... You're arguing okay. that! So you are arguing that. Like, you don't even know your own arguments. What I'm saying is that if you if you have a societal standard that says that somebody else is the biggest threat, and that is, that is accepted, then when people are making snap judgments, they're going to bring those prejudices in with them. And that's going to lead to these things. And what I'm talking about in the context of the original conversation, before you went on this random tangent about some other bullshit, is that the assumptions that men have um, with regard to all of this doesn't actually lead to systemic power for women in any way. Women are not empowered. Uh -huh. Women are not empowered by the fact that men get... Okay, um, wait. So if if one group no, wait, of people are systemically you literally didn't even let me finish. No, no, no. I just wanna I wanna run you Holy those little shit. these little hoops real quick, okay? So like, if you have one group of people, right, and they are systemically disempowered, y right? Yes. There's some system in place. Yes. That makes them have less power, uh -huh. right? Would that make the other group of people have more power? Yes. Okay, so then, like, By let's and say, large. If, well, like, I guess it would depend. So no, no. Right? Let's say, let's say, if black people generally, like, uh -huh. whenever there's a crime, uh -huh. they get arrested like more often, regardless of if they're the perpetrator or the victim. They just arrest the black guy instantly. That would be like systemic disempowerment. Wait, hold on, right? I'm, I'm getting confused. And then, no, no, no. Let me let me just walk you through the whole thing, okay? Okay. So black right. people, I see, I see what we're doing. Get arrested here. by default whenever there's a, a phone call to the police, right? That would be systemic disempowerment for mm -hmm. black people, mm -hmm. and then the inverse of that would be. Anybody who's not black would be systemically empowered, right? Hmm. In this particular example, I don't I, I don't know. I don't know that that would actually be an empowerment. It would just be the absence of it. It would more be I mean, because when we're talking about this, it would depend largely on like whether it's white police, right? As far as whether that was systemic power. When we're talking about women, <laughs> women aren't granted a systemic power by not being by not being arrested. They're literally I mean, seen. Wait, they're literally seen. Hold on, wait, yeah, wait. Are. Okay, okay, it's dude. All right, all right. Enough. Enough. All right. This is the like fourth time that you've interrupted me when it was my turn to talk. I'm having enough okay, of this, sorry, and I'm getting I'm to the I'm getting to the point where like if we want to go into the real memes, like I can get mean because this so far has been like an incel hole, like rabbit rabbit hole. But like we can get there if you're <laughs> really? gonna, yeah. Yeah, it has been and if we're going to start getting if we're going to start getting into the interrupty like really like trying to do the donkey thing i promise you i will beat you um but that's okay. okay like i was more interested in having it like a like an interesting probing into your meme but as we dug deeper i just keep finding all these further incel memes so let's get let's get to the point in this what i'm talking about right here with regard to this is that women are not given societal respect in fact they're seen as too weak to possibly be the one that's wrong now i will agree that in the very micro in the like individual circumstance a woman could potentially take advantage of that to her advantage but that doesn't mean that there's a systemic empowerment because when we're talking about systemic issues it actually matters what the reason 
behind those issues are. And in the example that you used where you're talking about, oh, well, black people get arrested instantly um, by the police, there's not even that's not even the same reason. The reason why black people are, are arrested instantaneously by the police is because we have a racist police force that has that has justified this type of absurd r discrimination. And when we're talking about women versus men, we're talking about a completely different dynamic. So these aren't parallel. Do you see what I'm talking about? Um, or were you just not paying attention? Um, to be honest, when you said that, like, it doesn't necessarily systemically empower one group when another is disempowered. I kind of stopped listening. Because okay. All right. Like, well, I can see, I can see, I see what's the thing. So let me just, let me just summarize. I mean, I mean, let me just summarize you your argue argument. Back right. Let me just summar summarize. If you lower well, you've one gotten group to the of point. People... No. All right, my dude, listen, you've gotten really fucking disrespectful since you came on here. And this was interesting. <laughs> Wait, no, it was super interesting because I okay. came on hoping to question you in good faith. And the further that we, I mean, on, you called me an incel. I, I just called you an incel after you interrupted me about four times and i'm not gonna lie at this point it is increasingly seeming like you are more incelly than i thought originally because i came oh, in originally okay. in like i came in with with literally 100 percent good faith but after interrupting me and now you're doing the smuggling and now you just are straight up tuning out in the middle of when i'm talking to you and, and thinking that makes you feel good it actually really feels really fucking weird and i'm not gonna lie okay. this is something i encounter pretty frequently and and it does play into that sort of um it does kind of play into that sort of incelly kind of bullshit doesn't it that you would just think that oh i'm just going to tune out while i'm talking to this woman we're talking about gender issues i'm just going to i tuned out when you did this haha ha, smuckle 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 and then i'm going to interrupt you when it's your turn yeah that's a little disrespectful my dude so um for sure uh we can we can keep memeing like this but let's be honest your argument is more or less that men have no culpability in any of this you regularly were very 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 liberal with your with your none. you were very uh, i'm still talking you were very very liberal with your use of the term titty streamer and then you backed off like six <laughs> different times backpedaling on what a titty streamer is i'm not gonna lie what it sounds like to me is like you have a problem with women and you think that it's it's like the women's place to assuage the egos of men so that men won't stalk and rape them, which is what actually happens in our society at a ridiculously shocking rate. And you're unwilling to say, damn, maybe there's a, there's a problem with our patriarchal male-driven society that men need to address. Maybe if men treated each other with a little bit more kindness, maybe if men didn't um, d taught each other and took the time to teach each other that, hey, you can't just, uh, you can't just assume that a woman, is, if a woman says you're cute, that you, that you can therefore fuck that woman. Maybe that would actually solve some of our problems. Maybe if we started breaking down patriarchy among the people who benefit the most from patriarchy, we could actually make some progress. But you wouldn't even be willing, you weren't even willing to go halfway there. In fact, you said that most of this is on women. And so I feel like at this point, your hand has been played. You played your hand a while ago when you were unwilling to even consider the fact that maybe men have a part, a pretty big part to play in this as well, especially considering that in the big picture, women are the bear the brunt of the blowback of all of this. Okay. Um, I got a few problems with what you said. Go One, the only reason I use the word titty streamer is because you did. Um, so it's pretty interesting that all of a sudden I'm the one being really? liberal with the usage of it when I only used it after you did. And even when I did, true? I, I think I immediately clarified that what I meant was people who were exploitative in their behaviors. So I just like to clear um, that little bit up. Um, As for the rest of what you said, I don't think I've ever said that men bear no culpability. In fact, I think this entire fucking conversation, I have been very careful to make sure to say that these are complicated problems where multiple people can be at fault and some of the responsibility can fall on some parties actually i, I believe if uh, if we're clear uh, uh, just okay. to be clear about this um i believe you said that uh women uh the main thing that needs to happen with women needed to start paying more compliments just so we're clear on this go ahead i think i think yes the main cause of this fun this specific phenomenon where we're talking about this one specific area of men reading too much into women's compliments. Mm -hmm. I think the lion's share of the cause there probably going to be the lack of compliments from women in general. Damn. Okay. That's what I would say. Nice. Well, um, yeah. So interestingly, uh, my concerns with the meme 
as we dug into it, we're 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 demonstrating. I don't believe this is about the meme anymore. Well, no, I mean, I mean, it isn't really about the meme anymore. But it's interesting that the meme that like my my and my chat's intuition on the meme was very telling of the sort of worldview, which is the assumption that basically, you know, women owe men a fuckload, and if if women get stalked and harassed, no, I don't think I've ever eh, said that's oh. actually exactly what you've said. Your argument is implied. Really? This, yeah, Can you actually, find me any yeah, point you, in which wait, I literally, I yeah, unironically yeah. said or implied that yeah. women owe random yeah, it men? Yeah, was literally anything? literally five seconds ago. When you said really, that, what did yep, I say? Yep, exactly. When we, we you literally just you just you motherfucking just said it. In fact, we could literally rewind this and play it back. It'd be really cool if I had that ability. I don't have a tape deck, but it'd be super cool. Um, you just said a couple minutes ago that when referring to this specific is issue, aka when when men um way over assume um what women are saying because when a woman says, "Oh hey, you're cute," that they over assume that and assume that that entitles them to sexual attention. You said that the bulk of that problem falls on women. So yes, you literally okay. made the wait, wait. Again, getting... You literally no, made that no, argument. You just made no, that argument. You're Everyone the argument. just heard you make that exact argument. No, and you I never said falls on. I never said anything. Yes, about you literally I said did. Cause. What? I did not. That's the... I was very wait, wait, what do you mean? That's the exact extremely specific to use the word cause. Wait, what do you mean by cause? So wait, uh, when you say it's caused by women. That means that the responsibility to fix it would fall on women, yes? Not at all. That is a huge leap. Just okay. because something at is this the point, cause of something I'm... does not mean it is the responsibility of them to fix it. That is a okay, huge can you can you square that with what you said earlier, where you blamed, where you said it was the reluctance of women to engage in discussions about their own harassment online, and you said, well, maybe if they weren't so afraid to talk about it, the problem would actually get fixed. See, this is the thing. I You're literally retreating. Wait. never said that. Ever. Oh my in god! Fact, I okay, think I was is... extremely specifically clear oh, to say oh that sexism would god. exist without this, and that it is just an extra dude, fuel source. You, I think you, I literally said straight that. Straight up, straight up, dude. Like this is at the point. Where like you're, you're just, just lying. lying. About things you, that no, I no, said, you are though. literally lying about the things that you said earlier in this arg argument. We literally have I the will, bot on this. I will find you the clip where I specifically say unprompted that sexism would exist without. Wait, that has nothing to do. That has nothing to do with what we're talking about here. Your position at every juncture of this discussion, every single juncture, has been to put the responsibility for solving the problem mostly if not completely no not no no, no. hold on a second it. okay you can you can squeeze around the words you can you can try and no, massage maybe. them and pussyfoot around it but what you said is that oh well if women would just do this it would solve the problem what you're doing is functionally i mean it would wouldn't it no it wouldn't not at all do you think do you how, think how that so? do you think that women paying men more attention in a world where men already get an incredible amount of attention from women and then also abuse that would be would solve really? the problem. Yeah. Are you you think men get a lot of positive attention yeah. from women spontaneously mm -hmm. in a non-romantic yeah. way? Some some men do. Yep. Some men do. Some. Yeah, but some. it's rare. And you want to know why it's rare? It's rare because men have Wait, no, so is no, it no, no, rare or nope, is it a nope, lot? Nope. It's rare for an individual to have that type Wait, of Wait, no, but you just said it was a lot though. Okay. All right. Are you are you are you just trolling at this point? Is this like is this like your I, you idea just of... said it was a lot. No. I, no, I didn't. I said certain men do. You, I will. Dude. You literally just okay. said the what words is your, what are you a trying world to get okay. in which what men get a okay. lot of attention. I will, right, I will let me, send let me you just, a clip right now. Let me, let me just, uh, let me just, let's try and do this again. Because here's what keeps happening. You keep interrupting me in the middle of points, and then you try to act like you got a gotcha, and then I try to figure out what the fuck you're actually trying to argue, and you're not arguing anything, and it's making me increasingly frustrated, because what it seems like you're doing is being a clown. And if you're being a clown and you just can't, like, admit when you've, like, you've exhausted your debates, that's fine. I didn't really expect it to get this intense, but, I mean, to a certain degree, like, holy shit, my dude. But, um, but on the other hand, it's like, what is your point here? What do you what tr sort of point are you trying to make? We have a society where men have normalized it to the degree that nearly every woman you talk to and it's funny if you took the time to go watch what women are actually talking about and the problems that women deal with in online spaces, you might actually know this. You might actually know some of these things. 
Um, but yeah, if you if you took that time to go figure that out, you'd find out that it's a, a widespread issue that women receive an incredible amount of sexual harassment, stalking for, for nothing, even when they don't do anything at all. And when they do, they increase the risk of that greatly. And if that's the case in a society that is nonetheless pervaded by patriarchy, then... At, at least we should be able to admit that at least a pretty good chunk of that is going to have to come from men coming together and changing their behavior. So what are you actually saying against that instead of like, I don't know, trying to get okay. some weird gotchas? So if I had to condense, mm -hmm. I mean, we're, we're kind of on a different argument than the one we originally began Not really. Uh, with the tweet. So I will try and condense the okay. past hour or so. Um, okay. No, more like half hour. I'll, I'll try to condense like the last half hour um, into one point, which is that I think that the largest cause of men overreacting to compliments uh -huh. and reading too much into them, I think that the largest cause of that okay. is the lack of compliments that men get primarily from women. That would be my point. Okay. So who, if that is the case, if the largest cause is the lack of compliments, then who is responsible for changing and fixing that problem? Um, that's a complicated question. Hmm. Okay. Do you, are you just going to avoid it? Or I think are you just we collectively as a society, it's kind of a dumb answer, but like we collectively as a society are responsible, I guess, hmm. to like foster spaces yeah. in which women feel more comfortable giving compliments to men. Do you and, think, um, do you think men have any, um, responsibility in this? Well, men are part of society. So yes. Okay. Well, what's their, what's their responsibility? Because you've told us what women should be doing. You've said that multiple times here, what, what you believe women should be doing for men. What do you think men should be doing? Um, probably help to foster spaces in which, I mean, the, like, I'm just going to say the same thing again. We as a society, ah, damn, you're, you're so non-committal. To you, foster wait, wait a minute, spaces wait. in which women feel safer <laughs> in order to give more compliments to men in their lives. Damn. So you're, you're very willing to engage in incredible specificity with what you demand from women. But then when it's time for men, it's like, well, society needs to do this sort of thing. What should men do? Like, let's come on, get, put some spine in there. And give us some some real statements. What well, should men really, do? It, okay, the the <laughs> okay. The reason I can be specific is because, I mean, all that's required of women is to give compliments. Now, in order to build a space in which and, it is, no wait, wait, in wait. Which they feel so. Oh my go ahead, you go ahead. get no, mad go at ahead. me for interrupting. Please let me finish. Go ahead. All that needs to be done to fix the problem of no compliments for men is more compliments. That's an e that's an easy thing to do. The hard part is making a space in which women do that more often. That's the complicated part because it turns out humans are complicated. Mm -hmm. Sociology is a complicated science, okay? Mm -hmm. So pardon me if I can't give you specific ideas for how to change culture, okay? Yeah. That's why it's easy to give the, what women need to do to fix the problem and why mm -hmm. it's hard to say what society needs to do. Because what about the problem men? Is a lack of, the problem is a lack of compliments. The solution is more compliments. What so about men? It's easy to be specific about women. You literally, wait, in this, I, I just want to point something out. In this literal last sentence that you said, I asked you, what should men be doing? And you went off on a big tirade about this, that, and the other thing. And you said, well, it's really easy to tell what women should do, but it's hard to do with society. And you never said anything about men. You literally don't have an men answer. Men are a part of society. Yeah, are but you what serious? should men do? You're willing to tell. You're willing to highlight what women should do. What should men do, my dude? This shouldn't be hard. You're like destroying your own credibility live. Like, well, what the fuck? What do you mean? What should men, men do? Men are a part you, of okay, society. Hold on. Let me just let me just summarize something for you. So you've said that it would be quote unquote very easy for women to just give more compliments, despite the fact that no. Wait, no, no, no. Oh, let me God. finish. You literally just said that. Every... I said that's the easy part. Yes. Yeah. No. Which you said it is easy you for said women to you literally said it was easy for them. I'm sorry. You said it. You said, I said that. it was the easy. Multiple part. people in chat are telling me that, that that you did actually say that. I'm not the only one who remembered you saying literally. Wait. Do, do we want to trade? You clips? literally said. I, think I have a clip of you. Those please. From earlier. Please. Do we want to trade clips now? No. I would just love for you to stop being a Weasley liar because you are actually being really Weasley right now. You literally said all women have to do is do this. You strongly. Yeah. I was being somewhat facetious. Oh my because god. Well, now you. 
can't have it both ways. They're... So either be okay. facetious or speak your points correctly. If you're like, if you're gonna get mad about being misunderstood, maybe you shouldn't be so fucking facetious. Now, next, if that's the case, we can acknowledge in this very conversation, in this exact conversation that we've had together, um, we've talked about how it is indeed a fact that women are often over us their, their interest is over assumed that you believe that saying somebody is for example you yourself have demonstrated this you think if somebody tells you you're cute that's like an invitation that that's flirting in your mind and now yeah, we know wait wait we've established that this is the case we've established that men overdo this all the time so it actually isn't just that women have to pay compliments it's that women have to pay compliments at risk to themselves you are asking actually quite a lot of women, and then when I ask you for just a simple thing, what what should men be responsible for? You cannot answer. And what that indicates to me is that you have a very clear bias in here. A very no, clear bias. No, it was bias. pretty clear in what men need to do. You just won't accept the fact that men are a part of society. What does men need to do? Just say it. Come on, it should be really easy for you. What do men need okay, to do? Okay, so men should help along with the rest of society. Oh my God, you can't do spaces. it. You literally can't do it. The Scrub King, this is so sad. You literally can't do it. Wait, I'm doing I, it right no, now. No, no, you aren't. You literally aren't. When you, when you were asked to talk about women, you said women need to do this, women need to do that, and women should be doing this, and I should be doing this. And then when it comes to men, you go men, and along with the rest of society, you're doing the Donald Trump thing. Literally. You're doing the Donald Trump thing. <laughs> <laughs> what what Donald Trump? The Donald thing? Trump what, thing, wait, where he goes like, oh yeah, you know, um, you know, like all of the, you know, the bad guys and everybody else, you know, you all gotta just calm down. It's like when people say, hey, why don't you denounce the Proud Boys? He goes, I denounce the Proud Boys <laughs> and Antifa, and it's like, dude, why can't you okay. just denounce the Proud Boys? And then I ask you, what do men need to do? And you go, and now you're smuggling again, which is hilarious. But I ask you, what do men need to do? And you go, well, men and society need to do this. Well, obviously men are a part of society, but what do men need to do? We've already talked about what you think women need to do, but you can't answer straight and haven't for almost 15 minutes, 10 minutes now, admitted what the fuck what men are actually supposed to do. You just put it all on women. This is why I said that before, and then you said, no, I didn't. And now I've proven, yes, you do. Men should help to foster spaces in which women feel safer to give more compliments to the men in their lives. Okay. Cool. How do they do that? Which is exactly what I said before. Just replace That's not what the you word said men before, with though. society. Yeah, yeah, because you because you can't answer it. How do they do that? How do they foster those spaces? How do they? You realize this wait, is a you... complex sociological uh, question, wait, why is it, right? Why is it, is like wait, saying... wait, wait a second. Why is it complex and sociological when I ask you about what okay, men because should this do? Is but like it's saying, not complex well, and sociological when I ask you what okay, women okay, should do. Okay, okay. No, you. I'm going to answer your question. Go for but... it. Try. Okay. So this is like asking the question. Well, okay. So we need to lower wealth inequality in America, okay? That's a thing we need to do. Yeah. How do we do that? And then getting upset when the other person doesn't have like complicated economic proposals, okay? Uh, no, let me give you an example of what would be a better a better and more correct um, uh, 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 parallel. Let me just give you a quick example. It would be if I said, damn, we really need to do something about wealth inequality. And I was to say, um, it seems to me like poor people have to work really hard and they get almost nothing for it while rich people are able to collect a lot of money every year. And then you said, and then you said, well, no, you know, I think poor people have a lot to blame here. Poor people should do this, this, and this, and they should be working these many more hours. And then I said, well, don't you think rich people should do it? And you then you go, well, yeah, rich people and the rest of society should do it. That would have been a more accurate example because that's what you keep doing. Damn. A couple problems. One, oh, okay. never said blame. I've been very oh, careful to never God. use the word blame ever because I know they're probably going to be pretty touchy. So It doesn't, the, the, the term blame doesn't matter. What matters here is no, how you No, it actually does actually because does. something can be the cause of a problem without being to blame. Oh my God. You are so weaselly. I didn't expect you to be this no, weaselly. This is just how words work. No, this isn't this isn't what words work. This is you literally dodging a question for 10 minutes, no, an incredibly this is, simple question. This is how words work. No, this isn't really that that's not what you can't just say this is how words work when you've been so do you directly think that dodging. If something is the cause of something that also makes it that things that entity's responsibility to fix it. Generally, yes. Ooh. Yeah. Generally, like, that's like, a big word. Yeah, that's carrying a it, lot of weight there. No, it isn't. It's generally that's the rule. Now, like, okay, like, but so, but generally implies that 
there's situations where it's not. I mean, there could be. Yeah, like for example, um, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Like, so oh, here's an example. Wait, I got an example for you. Like, here's an example. Um, if uh an earthquake happens, wait, no, let me finish. If an earthquake happens, it is the you know the fault of the earthquake. Haha, <laughs> literally, uh, you know, fault line joke. Um, but I'm like, it's about natural phenomenon. Okay. Well, but well. So then there are circumstances in which it doesn't make sense. But in general, no, 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 wait, wait, in general, when we're talking, talking in general, people. in general, when we're talking about people, if people are engaging in something and people are a part of something, a part of a structure or a superstructure or whatever word you want to use, it is generally to some degree their responsibility to fix a thing if they are causing a thing. Really? Then what's the point yeah. of government? What? Okay, so my counter wait, wait, argument what? here is going to be, okay, can you let me explain, or are you just going to say what? Go ahead. Okay, can I continue? Can you? So there are bad things that happen in this world, right? Yes. And we would say that sometimes these bad things that happen, it doesn't really make much sense to say that the people that caused those bad things are responsible in fixing it, because we have a government for that. So things like, I don't know, homelessness, right? That's a bad thing. It's probably not good that people are homeless. Now, are we going to say that it's the specific landlord that evicted them or the person that fired them? Are we going to say they're responsible for fixing the problem? No, because that's pretty dumb. We're probably going to say it's like the government's responsibility to solve that problem, right? To make it right. I have no fucking clue what you're talking about right now. I don't think what I said is that complicated, but I can... No, I just don't know it how it connects at all. We're talking about classes. I'm giving and... you an example of something that can be okay. caused so by So are you saying that the government should step in and force women to give men more compliments? No, also protect I'm just them? giving you an example. Okay, I'm just giving you an example okay. of something that can happen that is bad, that is caused by one person, but it is the responsibility of a different person to fix. But it isn't, though. Like, like, what do you mean? Like, okay. Well, but it is, well, hold on. No, no, it isn't. Okay. Because what you're talking about, you're conflating at, the, you're like literally just bananaing back and forth between like fucking boomeranging back and forth between, um, between, uh, personal responsibility versus a societal, like versus societal responsibility. If we're talking about homelessness as a problem, homelessness has many causes many causes and the reason why we sometimes would say like we would use a government structure to fix it is because the government structure can identify those problems and identify what's causing those problems aka they can analyze multiple sources like for example homelessness might be simultaneously the cause of a pandemic the cause of um capitalists who are are unwilling to give their um, to give their employees unemployment or benefits and also could be also the problem of housing groups that are uh, aggressively evicting people. All of these contribute to homelessness and the government can help determine which one of these is the issue and who needs to be, you know, adjusted for that. So, for example, the government might come in and say, well, it would be really bad and it would make the, the homelessness problem worse if people, if you know, landlords were evicting people in the middle of a pandemic. So we are going to say the landlords cannot evict because if they were evicting, they would be causing a worsening of the homelessness problem. So you, what you're talking about here has nothing to do with what we were talking about before. Unless you're arguing that, like, the government should step in and force women to give men more compliments. Um, no, I think I, I think what I was saying before is we need to make spaces in which women feel safer to give men more compliments. And every um, wait, wait, or maybe we should just make spaces safer for women in general, and then we can also work on what makes it makes men feel so alienated. Maybe we should take the the fact that like women already currently live in a society where they don't feel safe anywhere. They don't feel safe doing anything, and that's a huge problem. That's a massive problem. Okay, so getting back to compliments, what we're specifically talking about, I think that, okay, I'm gonna try to do this again, okay. okay. So I think women are the primary, not total, 
primary cause mm-hmm. of this problem that we have. Yeah. But I think the responsibility mm-hmm. does not fall on women. Except for when they have like to the pay more responsi- The responsibility would fall on us collectively as a society, which includes men who do live in a society right. along with women. And as so, men control and statistically— Not all facets of it. Yes, but they control quite a, quite a lot of it. Like quite a lot. Okay. Like on but, basically every metric this, you can measure. This is kind of a weird— thing to specify though because if i say we collectively as a society have a responsibility mm-hmm. to fight racism mm-hmm. it's kind of weird to be like well white people control it yeah like, yeah but, but like we're talking about it's like we should yeah, still they, do it all as wait, a society, if, white, right? if white people predominantly like i mean and this is actually i mean this is not this is going to hurt your argument by the way by bringing this up um like for example um in the case of racism white people control so much of um and I'm interestingly so white funny. men control so much of society and politics that um that it is absolutely on the shoulders of predominantly white men to improve the situation of racism or for us to disempower You're, oh those no okay um so <sighs> okay you you good i don't need i don't even know where to start Okay. Well, like, listen. We how about where to end? Because at this point, I feel like we're spinning our our uh, our wheels, and I I think that we've gotten your point, which is more or less, if I'm not mistaken, that the government should force women to give more compliments. But no, I, I'm just kidding. That's, that's, uh, that's me no, that is actually literally not what I said at all. I, I just said I was just kidding. I, I just, just said I was just kidding. I, I just said I was just kidding. I was just poking at you. It's all good. Now, I do think that you... Um, oh, it's a good, real fun meme when you got people from your chat coming into mine calling me an incel. It's a real good meme. Oh, damn. Real XD I mean, funny meme. Are you... Uh, are you okay? Um, do you... No, I think I'm pretty reasonably upset at um, the implication or outright explicit saying that I am, like, an incel. I mean, I don't know. I think that's pretty justifiable when I don't think I've expressed any of those views uh, at all. I mean, in any capacity. I don't know. Like, maybe it's, fact, your own, maybe it's your own audience. Consider calling myself you. like. I mean, you did you wait? Listen, feminist, listen. Pretty, like I unironically call myself a, like a proud SJW. Damn. Like, well, I mean, listen. I would say that you could brush up on feminism a little more before you really? go around calling yourself a proud SJW. Yeah, I actually do think you can. I think uh-huh. you. I think your ability to argue these points in this argument was not good personally and i i think really? that um i think you're uh yeah i do i actually I actually think you made a lot of really weird um victim blamey approaches in this um, i actually never use the word blame i, I never don't blame care anyone, it doesn't actually. matter like that's very very weird I mean, it kind of does because them... you're saying i victim no, blame, no i would kind of requires no, no. me to blame somebody doesn't it you do realize that you don't have to literally say the word blame for your arguments do, I, I do, was, do wait 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 no no okay you're, blame, you're, but like, you're jumping I over again i haven't actually blamed oh. women for anything you know that right okay um, you don't have to use literally the word blame for your argument. To no, no, ultimately... no, but you know that I haven't blamed okay. women. All right, dude, this is, right? this is good memes. I know you're, you're like, I don't know what, what's going on right now, but like, this is like, not, this is like not interesting anymore when you're just going to interrupt when I'm trying to say something. The fact of the matter is your arguments. We both interrupted each other quite a bit. Yeah. But at this point you're interrupting me quite a lot more. And at what I'm trying to do is trying to wrap this up and get to conclusions. But I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Did you, you came on here. We had a little debate. We had our little discussion. Um, you know, I don't know. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, yeah, that's right. I should. Listen, I am going to say I appreciate the memes. It was nice talking with you. I do think you could probably use some touching up on some of these arguments. I don't think that your argument lines up, especially when you're willing to acknowledge that we live in a patriarchal society. But then when we talk about um, so when we talk about responsibility, you cannot even say that men need to do anything. You could not say that. No, I think I, I, I asked you like, like eight times and times. you couldn't until I literally pinned you down. I, and then you said that like men times. and society I, I said should, that okay. we collectively, yep. which includes men, need to build space in which women feel safer okay. to compliment the men in their lives. Sure. 
I said um, that several again, times, actually. I mean, again, like, you keep doing the same thing, which is that you are more than willing to tell women what they need to do, but you won't even say what men need to do. You'll bring it up as, like, a weird thing of, like, men and society, which, by your terms, would include women in what men need to do. It's a little weird that you would do it that way, but all right. Um, it was a nice meme. It was nice talking with you. Uh, I, I, uh, I, I, uh, did you have any, uh, other last minute memes you wanted to drop before you go? Um, <laughs> oh, there's too much. Oh boy. There's too much. Damn. Really? There's too much. Um, I guess the highlights of tonight for me were personally, uh -huh. um, when you said that somebody charging someone with a knife wasn't the aggressor i never said that i think that was pretty cool i, I literally never um, said that that's really funny that you would say that. i think the the bit where all you right dude all right didn't all understand right this is getting really it. stupid um the yeah, highlight sorry. for me was when you played your hand way too heavy and you just came off like a giant incel all what right it was that? nice have a nice day hope you get your government ma mandated um uh, mandated compliments soon okay i'll talk to you soon bye-bye uh -huh. cool. That was a nice meme. Yeah, uh, I tried. I tried. Listen, I tried to end it as peacefully as possible, but I literally never said that. It's extremely hilarious to me. Oh, boy. Here's fuel for the drama fire. I don't know. Do we need more drama today? We've had so much drama. All right, Dylan Burns. Let's take a look. Oh, my fucking God. That was actually embarrassing. Oh, my fucking God. That was embarrassing. Fucking Socrates Steve fans.